Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Goosecraft. Before we get into today's episode, we're going to take a look at some progress that has been made. Um, first of all, we're over here in the Desert Village, of course. Last episode, we were working on this breeder over here, and I thought it wasn't working. Turns out, after being here a while, it, whoa, it was working. Um, it stopped working now. I think that's just an issue of they don't have food. <laughs> you can see they're all over the place now. I left the uh, trap door open and the uh, zombie dropped down my room and I swung at him. I knocked all these guys out. So yeah, I <laughs> put all these guys back into the breeder. Uh, but we're not going to do that today. Um, also, we have. Let's go. We have done some work over here. You can see the uh, farm over here has been widened. It's gotten bigger. This is our wheat, bread, carrot, and potato farm. So up on the top we've got uh, potatoes. Middle layer is carrots, and down here is a wheat farm. And we've got farmers inside. Get in here. <laughs> bunch of farmers and what these guys are doing is uh, of course picking the wheat and I've got a mine shark uh, cart going underneath there, a hopper cart going underneath here uh, collecting up any of the uh, wheat that they don't pick up. The wheat that they do pick up they turn into bread and throw towards these guys and demonstrate here when they throw it it just goes straight down through that water source down below where there's hoppers waiting. Um, the ones above are the same. There's four villagers in each corner. Um, on those levels I only have one farmer though because that's all I had before. All of these extra farmers are from the village here. I just opened or put doors over here and when I did they came in here and started farming so I trapped them in here. But the rest of the floors they only have one farmer but they do have four villagers in each corner just like before. Uh, like I said I just widened everything, made it a little bit bigger. Um, down below changed up the collection area. Let's take a look at that right quick. So you can see I've got the uh, two minecarts with hoppers going around collecting wheat and bread that they throw on the ground to each other. The farmers that is. The stuff that they throw to the villagers that are trapped go into hoppers in the four corners. You can see one there, one there, one over there, and then some over here. Um, you can see I've got a shulker chest plus some field. The bread I've been pulling out and taking into the pyramid because we're going to be using that for our breeder. Let me get some light. Even though there's lights here, I've got the slabs blocking it so the light doesn't show up. But I've been taking the bread over to uh, the pyramid. We've got a little bit there. But I've been taking it to the pyramid because we're going to use that for our breeder. Um, we're going to be putting bread in there so that they're always fed. So all the bread that comes into here will be filtered eventually and go straight into the breeder, the carrots and potatoes and wheat and all that junk. Well, the wheat is going to be filtered out. There's another one right here. The wheat will be filtered out and go straight into our beef farm, which is close right over here. So somehow I'll have it come into the... Probably move these chests down here back in this area over here. Got a lot of cows I need to kill. Whoop, wrong cow. But um, I'll end up putting the wheat, somehow get it up into here so that we don't have to constantly fill these chests. It'll automatically fill. The carrots and potatoes will go automatically into the pyramid where they'll be waiting for trades once we get the villagers inside of the trading hall. Um, let me turn this off real quick and keep hitting that switch. Go into the trading hall because I did a little work in there. Still working on a way to get the... <laughs> get rid of the torches too. Still working on a way to get the villagers into the actual cells that they're going to be waiting in to... Uh, waiting for us to trade with them. So all these little cells right here. Still working on a way to get them in there. Um, 
I did some tests and they are able to back themselves off of this angle. Uh, the original side is over there. This one has been lowered. I thought maybe if I lower it down one, I would be able to put something there to block them from going back. Uh, no, that doesn't work. So I'm going to have to come up with another way to get them to come down this track and then just fall instead of uh, landing or instead of slowly coming down an incline, they'll have to just fall onto a detector rail and be stuck there basically. So once I figure out how to do that, um, we'll have our trading hall all set up. But we're not going to be working on that today. I'm tired of working on that stupid thing. Um, I've pretty much depleted all of my gold supply doing this and making uh, powered rails. I barely have any left. So we're going to need to make a gold farm. And that is what we are going to be working on today. I really don't want this wheat, but I don't want to throw it. Let me put it in this chest for now. So make our gold farm. We're going to use, I put this portal up over here far away from our portal in the pyramid because pigmen can spawn on the portal and I don't want a bunch of pigmen spawning inside of the uh, inside of the pyramid if I'm in this in the area of this portal in the nether they're gonna be spawning on the outside or on the portal in the nether and then go through the portal and end up on the other side inside of the pyramid so I built this portal right here which takes us just a little bit further away um, you can see our other portal is right over there so this one's just a few blocks away but far enough away that we're not gonna have pigment all over the darn pyramid all the time so this is gonna take us up to the bedrock where I have a minecart waiting we can use a little trick to get above the bedrock which is where we're gonna be making our gold farm and I've set up a lot of it but I haven't started really building it yet. So let me go over here, up here, and oh, mine cart fell down. Yeah, I don't like where it's at. So let me put it here and see if I can get through. Now if I left click, or I'm sorry, right click and get into the mine cart, it's gonna trap me inside of the bedrock and I might be able to throw an ender pearl through that. No, it's not gonna work on that one. That's why I have this other one over here, but now I'm kind of stuck, aren't I? Yeah, without a minecart. Darn it. And I can't get back down now, can I? Great. All right, well, let me break this. See if I, I can't even get that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Got some more minecarts somewhere right there got a bunch of them because we need a bunch of them and can't open it <laughs> try that again we got a bunch of them because really I faced it towards me why can't I open it there we go we got a bunch of mine carts because we're going to use the mine cart trick uh, entity cramming trick to kill the uh, pigmen so let me get up there and Definitely need to eat first because I'm probably gonna die in the bedrock if I don't. So here we go, and boop. Didn't make it through. I really need to just break the bedrock and be a lot easier, but. Uh, try again, and there we go. Nope, didn't work. Try. <laughs> nope. Oh boy. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Finally got through. <laughs> so you can see I've got a portal here. That's my only way back since the bedrock hasn't been broken. Um, way up there you can see I've got a circle started. That is the roof of our farm. So it's just a bunch of glass that I set up so that I know how big a area I want to make for the farm and then you can see I've got three levels I forgot that I did not leave this open and yeah let's do fireworks 
So I've got three levels. This is going to be one level here, one level, let me go down, one level here, and then one level down here. These are all going to be spawning levels. I'm going to have donuts set up, and then I'll stand in the middle, uh, hurt a pigman, get them all angry at me. They'll come towards me and walk into minecart entity cramming trap and they'll die and we'll collect all their goodies and I've got a platform set up down here where eventually I'm gonna move that portal that's down there uh, maybe I won't because pigmen will spawn on it so I want to keep it farther away never mind we're not gonna move that up here but this is where we're gonna have all of our hopper chests uh, come down to collect the gold and all of the um, flesh and swords and all of that junk so, I think I'm just going to build it out of sandstone because yeah, it's an easy block to break. If I decide to change it later, it'll be a lot easier than any other block to get rid of. So what I'm going to do is uh, sandstone, and let's start at the bottom. It would be a lot smarter. Ooh, no. Uh, yeah, let's start at the top. Because I don't want gas spawning in here on top of me while I'm working so I'm basically going to make a platform here um, I'm gonna make a donut so it's gonna be a circle with the hole cut out basically um, but what I want to go let's see I'll probably do it the same size as that so I'm gonna go out 40 from this block this central block so right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty is that right? Yeah, that should be right under. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to have to do that on all four sides, and that's going to give us our width. And it's just going to be a lot easier to make the circle if we know where we're going to have to end up on each corner. So I'm going to do this for all four sides, going this way, this way, and this way. And then we'll start working on our circle. All right, so now I've got each level endpoint set up where I, I know exactly where the end is going to be I can go around and make it donut a lot easier so from the end point I can start going out and then go to the other side and start coming this way so that I know I'm getting a full circle and it's going to be accurate I'm not going to have to redo it so for this size circle I'm, it's an 81 width block width so what I'm going to need to do is go out from this block I'm going to need to go out six, come in one, and then go out four, do another four, do two, two, another two. I think it was four twos. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. And then two twos, or two ones. So one, one, and then go out two. And then at this point, it's going to be a bunch of ones going into the next one that comes around. So what I'm going to do is start from the other side and do the same thing that I did here. And then once they meet up, should be perfect so let's go over to this side here and do the same thing that we just did and then we should have four ones connect in between so let's go out six here one two three four five six come down one go out four one down another four there's that three and then we're going to go out four twos, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, a one, two, and let's see, nope, that was
was supposed to be two ones. Two ones, a two, and then we should have ones, bring it together, and then looks like I might have messed this up. No, maybe not. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So that's going to be how our circle is going to be, and then we're going to come in. I haven't decided yet. Probably five or six spaces uh, to the inside to make our donut, and then we'll just take out the entire middle section so that they're not spawning on that. Either that or, well, no, we'll take it out. So I've got to do this all the way around there, all the way around there, on all three levels. So let me do that and come back. So we now have all the donuts completed. Um, I went ahead and made these seven wide, and I also brought it in one. Um, I think I miscounted when I was doing the uh, original size, so I made it one shorter, uh, brought these out seven, and you can see I've got glass stairs going down and up, so they can come from the bottom, come from the top. Uh, they really don't need stairs coming from the top. You can see they just fall down if they want to, because it's only a three block drop. They don't get hurt if they do it that way. But yeah, uh, we got all our donuts set up, and I put in some iron bars on all four of the uh, paths leading to the middle, so that it kind of funnels them in towards the middle. And then I've got carpets here to keep them funneled even more. We've got traps set right here, the entity cramming carts uh, on all four of these. And I think if I put carpet just like this, they shouldn't be able to get through. Even the babies uh, shouldn't be able to get through, and they shouldn't be able to jump over it. Um, I don't know why, but we can jump over it. They can't for some reason. Makes no sense, but whatever. Um, you can see I took out the uh, sandstone blocks that were here, put in glass, and what else? Down below, I just set up a quick hopper feed system to collect everything into some minecart, I mean into some chests, right down here, over here, and then when that was still sandstone up there, this guy spawned in it while I was working on all that stuff. So I dropped him down here, trapped him. This is going to be our guy that we punched to make everybody angry. Um, so yeah, that's our system so far. So all the the uh, hoppers are feeding into these rows of chests. I haven't put in filters or anything on it yet. So it basically, it's just going to fill all the chests with all the junk. And then I set up some uh, furnaces here so that we can smelt the swords as we get those we're going to see. Um, so for now, uh, I need to get some snowballs to hit this guy with so that I'm not killing him every time I punch him or something. And then also I want to break out the bedrock down here, so we need to go get an egg, the dragon egg, and then I think we're pretty much done. So let me grab this junk. It is now time to test out our system, make sure everything is working. So I got a bunch of snowballs here. We're just gonna hit this guy with a one. Actually, I, since he's right here, I only need one. He's not very far away. So we're gonna hit this guy with one. Go up there and watch all the uh, pigment come. <coughs> Holy crap! I almost knocked him out of that. Gotta be careful. So yeah, it seems to be working pretty good so far. Make sure that they're all dying. They're dying. Stuff. So, 
eventually I'll put a filtration system here. You know what, I probably don't even have to go up there because this guy is constantly staring at me. He'll probably still attract Pikmin even though I'm way down here. But if I'm up here, I'm not going to experience this. doing is moving the uh, paths to get over here down to the bottom level. It seems like uh Yeah, it doesn't seem like everybody's seeing it. Continuing to flow in, that's a good thing. So, yeah, I think our gold farm is going to be working. I may need to change a few things here and there, but it looks like for the most part, it's working exactly how I wanted it to. Yeah, all these junk swords, eventually I'll make a filtration system so that all the junk swords will go straight into the smelter. Um, then we'll have three chests separating out the gold, the gold nuggets, the gold bars, and then we'll have... Uh, the rotten flesh right there. So yeah, looks good for now. And like I said, I just put this in sandstone for now, just in case I want to come back in and change the blocks. It'll be easy to knock all those out and put in something else instead. But for now, I think I'm done with this guy. So I just need to clean up, do a couple more things, and then I'll be finished. So that's going to be it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.